today I'm going to be dehydrating some apples. Um, these apples really, I have about three more. These apples are real mealy. They won't work real well to eat, but they're in great shape. And these are, got, have some bumps and bruises. I pulled out some of the better ones and kept them to eat, but I'm going to dehydrate these um, and a few more. And so far we'll see how far, I think it's about six apples, how far they go. And I'll show you once I get them done. Put them on my Excalibur dehydrator tray, just like this. You know, just the white thing. And I'm using the apple peeler core, which we have um, one on the website. It's really cool. I'll show you when I do it, but you put the apple on here, it peels it, it slices it, and then all I have to do is put one little line and I have these great little apple, moon-shaped pieces of apple. Um, I'll show you as I get going. Alright, to start, I'm gonna, I've got a little bit of water in here, just cold water, and I'm going to put the juice of about half a lemon in here. Obviously, try to keep the seeds and stuff from going in. That'll just keep the um, slices of apple from turning brown too fast. They're going to turn a little brown in the dehydrator, but at least that won't make them oxidize right away. Okay, I started to do this one and realized that this inside is really, really soft. So it didn't work real well. So I'm going to have to do this one by hand. We're going to try this one now. Bring the little thing back. It's hard to do this with one hand. I'm doing a leg. Okay, bring that back. Put this on the end. Okay, that feels like a core that will go through. Put my peeler right here by pushing this over. That's going to peel it. And hopefully I won't shake you around too terribly much and we'll get this peeled. Sorry. See how it peels it? And then it slices it. Yay! Now we're cooking. Well, slicing. That's like the coolest tool on the planet. I've had this one for a while. Um, and I don't mind some peels. Slice. Then we just in the lemon water. They're a perfect width for uh, drying. And they're just a great shape, very uniform. So I'm going to do a few more. See if I can get these... Um, red ones to behave if the core is not too gushy and I'll be back with you in a second. Well I almost didn't do this red one because all the other red ones had such a squishy base they wouldn't stay on the auger. See they just became nasty. So those will all turn into probably applesauce or apple butter or something because they're just really soft. But this one however did pretty good. So I'm going to show you how that goes. This is an awesome little thing. I've used it for many years and so we have right now really just two golden and now one red in here. I'm just gonna get a little bit of lemon juice on it so it doesn't turn brown. This will give a good little flavor of mixture in the uh, dried apples. So all we're going to do is just put these in on the dehydrating tray. Since they're uniform in size, they'll dry very easily and obviously at the same time. The Excalibur is excellent for that uh, nice and uniform drying. And I'll show you after I've got it all on here. But you might wonder what am I going to do with these. Since these are organic apples, I'm good about the peel. I'm going to sprinkle these with brown sugar and cinnamon and they're going to become just some treats for, for my girls. I've got pictures of them sitting when they were little and we used to do this. Look at that. They're, they're sitting uh, across in two bar stools and sharing this little string of apple peel like um, Lady and the Tramp. So I'm going to powder er, cinnamon sugar these a little bit, toss them around, put them in the oven just to get the cinnamon and sugar to kind of melt and adhere and those will become a little straw treat for them when they get home. Um, but I'll show you the end result of actually both those things in a little while. Okay, here's part of the nothing goes to waste um, 
explanation. I had six apples. Well, actually, if you count these three, I had nine. But these four trays are six apples. They're in there for dehydrating, just as they are after they soaked in the lemon water. Okay, they're going. These are the peels. They're going to turn into a snack because I have a homemade organic sugar, organic cinnamon uh, sprinkling can. So I just sprinkle these a little bit. They did soak in the lemon water, so that's one reason I wanted to sweeten them up just a tiny bit, because they're a treat. And these are going to go in the dehydrator as well. Obviously, they're on the little sheet. Okay. Just as they are. I know that means I'll have to clean my counter. There you go. In you go. Okay, I'll turn that on in a second. You don't need to see me turn a switch, do you? Probably not. Okay. And then last but not least, these three did not uh, do well because they were just too... I mean, they're like applesauce in there. That's kind of gross, but that's what they're like inside. So they're going to become um, a raw applesauce. And because I used this for the apples, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up these soft ones, toss them in here a little bit, and then put all the contents in a bag and smush it, and then put it in the freezer. So it becomes a raw applesauce. I'll peel this, put the, um, well, may not even peel at all, but chop it up nice and fine, put it in here, and then put everything in a bag and mush it up and freeze it so it'll be a raw applesauce. Might even put a little bit of that cinnamon and organic sugar. All the cores, which is really all that's left, go into the compost bin. So we've used up six, well, nine apples that were going to go bad, um, turn them into snacks, future food, and all because of this nifty little tool right here, which I'll put a link for this on the bottom uh, so you can find one. It's cool, this little thing, and I love the fact that it takes no electricity. And then uh, the uh, Excalibur, which is one of my go-to tools for putting food up because it does make it shelf worthy for a very long time. Okay, my battery had died and therefore I forgot that I didn't actually show you the end product of our dehydrated apples. But here they are and you can see um, how uniform most of them are. We've already used a good bit of them. They're crispy. We used them in um, our apple honey bread. Um, had about twice as much, but I added a lot of apples to oatmeal. The apple honey bread. Sorry, I'm eating one. They've got a great taste to them. They taste like fresh apples, but of course they're a little bit tangy and sweet at the same time. And then here are the apple straws. Now they might look a little bit weird, but they taste really good. And they come up, they of course break up a little bit, so they're really good for using like little decorations on top of, of stuff and you make a little nest with them and put some cobbler on top of it and it's just really good and then they're also quick for grabbing and snacking on just like the apples are. I hope if you have apples coming into season in your area you will use this easy dehydrating method to store them for a long time, especially if it's not a quality apple that you really want to eat. You don't want it to go to waste, so this is a fantastic use of those. Thanks so much for sharing this time with me. I'm Donna Miller. Hopefully I'll be in front of the camera and talking to you instead of behind the camera and whispering in your ear. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.